A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> The discovery of gold in the western United States brought thousands of miners and prospectors from the east. And it was in the hill country that the masked rider of the plains met his most exciting adventures. The greed for gold led to crime after crime, and the local sheriffs were unable to preserve the peace. It was the Lone Ranger more than any other man who finally brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the hills! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! For years, Elijah Doolittle had lived alone high in the hills. A small garden provided him with food. His clothes were remnants of another day, and he slept on a bed of dry leaves. At last, weak and old, he became ill. And when a traveler carried the news to the valley below, a 17-year-old girl climbed the mountain to the old man's cave and installed herself as his nurse. There. There now, Elijah. You, you've been awful good to me, Dolly. You and Jack Mason. Ain't none else ever comes near me. Just lie back and try to get some sleep now. I just want to live to see you and... Jack Mason, get the gold. Gold? There now. Just lie back, Elijah. No, you, you got to hear me. I ain't talking through fever. There's gold. Ain't no fever talking. What gold, Elijah? I, I found a gold claim. Don't look so, Dolly. I ain't out in my mind. I did find a gold claim. There's some folks that have suspicion that you must have heard the talk. Of course. Now, if you'll just hey, be quiet. It's true. It's gospel, Dolly. I did find one. Now, come close here. Listen careful. Yes? I, I want you to ride and fetch Jack Mason here. But, Lodge... You Lodge, can't refuse, Dolly. Lodge, it'll take two days of riding to get Jack Mason and bring him back here. That's what I figured. Two days. And if I can hang on that long, that's all I care. You... Really want me to go, Elijah? It may be the last thing I'll ask of you, Dolly. Hmm. I do believe you're telling the truth. You've got to believe it, Dolly. I won't rest till I know you and Jack have the gold mine. Can't you tell me where it is? No, I don't dare, for your own sake. You leave here alone. If I give you the map I got drawn, certain men may try to steal it from you. Jack Mason has got to know at the same time you do. It'll take defending, Dolly. Hmm. All right, I'll go then. Wait, one thing first. I'll tell you where the map is, just in case I ain't here when you come back. Yes. I'm resting on it. It's buried under where I'm laying. Oh. Now, go get Jack Mason. 
All right, Marge. I'll leave food and water where you can reach it. Dolly? Yes? One thing more. Tell me, you and Jack still plan to get married, don't you? Someday, lads. We, we've been waiting. I know. As long as you ain't split up, everything will be all right. You won't need to do no more waiting. You'll both be rich. Now, Dolly, ride. Ride and be careful. Jack Mason had made his camp on the banks of a mountain stream. And the following morning, just as he dipped a pan full of gravel into the water and started washing for gold, he heard the sound of approaching hoofs. Someone coming. A good thing there ain't enough gold here to make it interesting for someone to try and run. Why, Dolly! Yes, thank goodness. Oh, oh, there, boo. Dolly, what in nation are you doing here? You've been riding hard. Oh, Jack, there's not much time for talking. Yeah, but hold on. Now, wait a minute. Here, here. Let me help you off that horse. Oh. Hey, your horse is wore right out. One question first. Do you still have your two horses? Yes. Both of them? Sure, why? Can they stand a hard trip? Well, I reckon so, but... Oh, look here, Dolly. It ain't right to starve a man for the sight of you for so long and then surprise me by coming here and talk of nothing but horses. I didn't look to see you again till I... till I finished working the stream for the season and went back to town. Well, we have lots of time to talk, Jack. A, a lifetime. But there's something more important first. We've got to ride. Where? To Elijah Doolittle. He sent me to bring you back. What's the matter with old Lyle? Uh, I'm afraid he's dying, Jack. Shucks, ain't it just like me to never stop and realize that there was something mighty powerful important to bring you here like this? What's the matter with poor Lyle? Oh, I, I don't know. Fever, I guess. And, and I guess his mind's wandering. I tried to humor him, but nothing would suit him but I come here for you. I'll put your horse in pasture and get my pair saddled up. Come on, boy. It's green pass just for you after their trip. Dolly, you go into the shack and I'll fix things here so I can leave for a time. We'll put some coffee on while I cinch up and then we start back. All right. Oh, but hold on. You've read hard. Had any sleep? No. Well, then you better wait. It ain't going to be safe to go over that mountain trail at night. We've got to. But, Dolly, with you tired like you are... Stop it's... thinking about me. Roger Doolittle is, is dying. He wants you, Jack. We've got to ride the mountain trail at night. Well, okay then, Dolly. I ain't the one to argue with you. That evening, the Lone Ranger and Tonto made their camp close to the rocky trail that Jack and Dolly had to follow. At midnight, both the masked man and the Indian were asleep. But suddenly, a sharp sound rang out from the trail. Instantly, the Lone Ranger was awake. Tonto. Oh, Tonto, wake. Did you hear it? Me here, hoof on rock. Not far off. Someone's coming this way. That right. Nothing but the most urgent matter could make anyone ride this trail on a night when there's no moon. <laughs> Steady, Silver. Quiet, boy. Silver here, too. Him give warning. There are horses on the trail above us. That right. As I get into these boots, we'll take a look up there. Pretty dark. Whoever's riding tonight is doing so because they're avoiding the law. We're in a lot of trouble. That gunshot. It wasn't far away. Quiet. I don't hear any more hoofs. Not right. No further shots. Here, Silver. Get scouts in that middle behind me, Tyler. We're going to find out what's happened. Leave fire here? Yes, leave the fire. We needed to find our way back here. Come on, Silver. Jack, keep that horse quiet. They'll hear us. I'm trying to. Hello! Where are you? He's coming closer, Jack. Likely one of the outlaws old Large told you about. Well, if it is, it'll prove one thing. What's that? May prove that he really does have a gold mine. Look, there ain't no use trying to keep still. That rider's coming this way anyhow. Might as well face him. Well, whatever you think best, Jack. Yeah, but out with him and be done with it. That's better than feeling he's trailing us the rest of the night. Besides, he's got a horse and we need a horse. Where are you? Here! Now for it. Here, Dolly, take this gun and stand back away from me. All right, Jack. If, if he makes a move to hurt you, I'll shoot. Oh, oh, there's Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there, oh. Here I am, mister. And I've got a gun on you. You don't need a gun on me. Put it away before you hurt yourself. Is that unmask you're wearing? Yes, but don't let it fool you. What's the trouble you're in? What makes you think we're in trouble? People don't ride these hills at night. There was a shot. We're riding the hills at night. We? There are two of us, and you're covered two ways, so get off that horse. Is that your horse on the ground? It is. He busted a leg, and I had to shoot him. So that was the shot. And I have a lot of traveling to do, and don't aim to go on foot. I hate to do it, mister, but I'm taking your horse. Oh? My name's Jack Mason. 
And if you'll come to Lyde's Doodle's place, you, you can have your horse back. Head straight west to Sagebrush, and anyone there will tell you where the cave is at. Why are you going there? That's none of your business. What are you doing here wearing a mask? Maybe I was watching for a horse thief. Now listen here, you... We're not horse thieves. Dolly. But we're downright determined to go on to the cave. And that means borrowing your horse will do it. Now get down or I'll start shooting. You must be desperately in need of reaching that hermit. What's the matter with him? He's dying and wants us. Dying? It's, it's a fever or something. Look, mister, if you'll lend us your horse, we'll promise to bring it back here. You say hermit sick? Who the... My friend Toto. You see, he was back in the shadows, ready in case you were really serious about trying to steal Silver. Oh. Now put down the gun. Silver isn't saddled, and even if you did borrow him, you couldn't ride him. But we've got We'll to... go back to my camp and saddle up. Silver can carry two. Between the three horses, I'm sure all of us can reach Doolittle. You're going there, too? Yes. No, no, you can't. He, he wouldn't want a it. A mask man? I think you may be mistaken, Dolly. Lige knows about me. He does? Who are you? Just another of old Lige's friends. Come on, back to camp now. Gosh, I... I reckon you think I'm half local, stranger, but I'd do a lot more and steal a horse to do a favor for Lige. I understand. I guess we feel the same about him. I hope we can get to him before it's too late. At the Lone Ranger's suggestion, Toto did not return to camp, but rode on ahead. The next day, he met the Lone Ranger, Dolly and Jack, near the entrance of the cave, and... You stop here. Who? Who, who Silver? Who? 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 How is he, Tonto? Can you help him? Uh, not help him now. We'll go on and you see. You wait. Leave horse here. And be careful. Not spoil tracks. Tracks? What tracks? Tracks a feller who kill. Kill? It, his lights dead? Ah, uh, him dead. What's this about a killer, Tonto? Dolly said he was dying when she left him. Someone kill old feller. Murdered, huh? Not right. When? Sometime in night. Tonto come find tracks on ground... Maybe we follow tracks. We when, find killer. And we tried so hard. His last hope was that Jack could get here before he died. Oh, there now, Dolly. We, we've done our best. Oh, I, I know. But... And we'd better dismount and leave the horses here, as Tonto suggests. Go and see if we can't find some trace of the murderers. Poor old man. He, he wanted so to tell Jack about the man, the gold mine. He said it was buried in the ground beneath where he slept. We'll have a look there. His hope is that you two would have that man. At least we can see that his last wish is fulfilled. Yeah. You look. So what is it, Hunter? This where horse a killer brush tree. There, horse hair. Gray. Killer ride, gray horse. And here, footprint where him dismount. What do you make of the footprints, Hunter? Him, big feller. Big, like you. A man my size riding a gray. And that should help some. Maybe find more clue by and by. Which way did the killer come from? That way. From town. Oh, there's a man in town that's got a gray horse. He's about your size. Who's that? But, oh, well, he couldn't be the killer. He's a sheriff. Well, shucks, Dolly. Sheriff Harkness wouldn't kill poor Lyons. Oh, I know he wouldn't, Jack. And Reed Potter's big, but he don't have a horse. There's only one other gray horse I know of, and, and that's Jeb Lawson's horse. But Jeb's a small man. Then the sheriff is the only big man who owns a gray horse. That's right. I... I'm going to see poor Lige. I'll go with you, Dolly. We'll do what we can for him. We owe him that much. What do you think, Tender? Mm, maybe father not come from town at all. Maybe not. The chances are he did. Dolly told me something about the old man who was killed. There's long been a story around town that he knew where there was a gold mine. He was afraid that someone would try to steal it from him before he could tell Jack and Dolly where it was. She thought he was talking through a fever. But now it seems that he's told the truth. How was he killed? Knife. Well, we'll start from here and find that killer. He, he looks pretty peaceful now. Uh. I, I appreciate what you did, Tom. It was downright thoughtful of you to, to fix things before Dolly got there. You find map? No. Now, we won't hunt for that till, till after we've had a little service and, and buried Lige. Very well, Jack. We'll do that. Then ride a murder trail. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Dolly returned to her home in the valley. And two days later, the Lone Ranger called on her and asked for help. But it's not fair to ask me to do just what you say. I haven't any idea what it might be. I'll tell you what it is, Dolly. You heard the discussion a couple of days ago. What discussion? There are three men in town who might be suspected of murdering the hermit. Oh, oh yes, I remember. The sheriff. The sheriff Harkness. He's about the size. And he has the right kind of horse. There were two other men. One the right size without a horse, and the other with a horse. Oh, yes, I'm I a... remember now. Breed Potter's a big man, but he has no horse. And Jeb Lawson has a gray horse, but he's small. That's right. Well, what is it you want me to do? Oh, I- I'll do most anything to find the murderer. Let me see your sewing basket. There should be needles and thread there. Oh, sure. It's right here. It's a little messed up, but, but I guess there's everything in it. Now, let me see. Needles? Uh, there you are. Thread? There's both black and white. And good. Now, how about buttons? Oh, I've lots of buttons. Every time I throw old clothes away, I save the buttons. You never know when they'll come in handy. Here. Good. I want you to leave that sewing basket in the bedroom in plain sight and thread a couple of the needles. All right, but, but what are you going to do? I hope I'm going to find the murderer. Now, you go and fix that basket and the needles in the bedroom while I go outside for a minute and speak to Tonto. Very well. Tonto. Uh-huh. Tonto here. Tonto, I'm going after three men. I'm sure that one of those three is the killer of the hermit. Tonto, go to? No, Kimasami. You're going to stay here. There's something mighty important for you to do. I'll outline your part. Then I'm going to give three men the surprise of their lives. After giving Tonto his instructions, the Lone Ranger mounted and raced through the night toward the sheriff's home. The lawman was dozing in his chair, but when he heard the clatter of Silver's hoofs outside... Oh, 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 what the Sam Hill... Before the big lawman could comment further, his door burst open and... Well, see here. Hold it, Sheriff. Don't draw the gun. What's the meaning of this? Put down them shooting irons. Take off that mask. Never mind the mask. I came to tell you something that should interest you. Who are you? Lige Doolittle has been murdered. Did you know that? Lige? You mean the old hermit? Yes. Well, are you sure? Where'd Scott who'd want to kill that old man? I don't know. I came here to try and find out. Well, there ain't no sense to it. Why, Doolittle was more than half dead a couple of weeks ago. You sure it was murder? There's no doubt about it, Harkness. Oh, doggone, I can't believe it. What was he killed for? Was he shot or what? You don't know about him? The first word I had was no. But see here, who are you? Put down them guns and take off that mask. There are more serious things to think of than my guns. You knew that Dolly Martin was a good friend of Lige's, didn't you? Yeah. Does she know about this yet? Yes. You'd better go and see her. She may have more to tell you than I have. I will. I'll... Hey, does she know you? I doubt it. Well, who Sheriff, are you? The man who murdered the old hermit was about your size. You see him? No, but I'm sure of his size, and I know he rides a gray. A gray horse, eh? Hey, mine's a gray. Yes, I know. What doggone your hide, I won't stand for this. You bust in here, mask, holding guns on me? You just about accuse me of murder? Suppose you get over to Dolly's house. She needs you. Well, why should I? Before you leave there, I think I'll bring the murderer to you. Who is he? I don't know. Then how do you know? Hey, hey, wait. All right, Silver. Hey, you wait. It did not take long for the masked man to cover the distance between the home of the sheriff and the town's only cafe, where he knew that Jeb Lawson would be found. The rancher was dealing a hand of poker when the Lone Ranger stepped through the doorway and... Hey, say, what's that? A mask, hombre. Look at him standing there. Steady. Gosh, the nerve of him. What's he after? Maybe a sick up. There we are. Now look here, stranger. Where's you... Jeb Lawson? It's Jeb he's after. What's Jeb done? Where is he? Now, you can't come in like this. Come on, and... speak up. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I just want to speak to Jeb Lawson. Look here, mister. I've never seen you before. And Are I you was... the man I'm looking for? No, I ain't said so. What's on your mind? I guess you'll do anyway. You're the right size. 
That your gray at the hitch rack? Yeah. Come on, then. Sheriff Huck, this is waiting for you. I ain't done nothing. Who said you had? Get going. Now, look here. Jeff's been right here since Sit the... Sit down. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Now this way, Jeff. Let go my neck. Step lively, then. We don't want to keep the sheriff waiting. Well, what do you Outside. want? Outside. Now, what's up? Why are you dragging me out like this? Who are you? Jim, perhaps you can tell me where to find Breed. Breed? Potter, where is he? You drag me away from a game when I'm holding kings back to back to ask me about that ornery pole cat? That's not all I want from you, but it'll do for a start. Where is he? The home, I reckon. Why? Where's his home? Just find the dirtiest looking shack in town and that's it. Now, I'm not going to spend the night looking for it. Where is it? Don't be so touchy. It's the third house past the hotel. The hotel is down yonder where you see a two-story building. Thanks. Now get on board that horse of yours and head for Dolly Martin's place. For what? Sheriff Harkness will be there waiting for you. You'll learn what's wanted later on. And I'm or not... Where do you want me to take you? Well, I'll go. I'll go, stranger. Sakes alive, ain't I? Get on the board right now. Dolly Martin's place, huh? I'll be there myself in a few minutes to make sure you do what you're told. But what's Harkness want of me? He wants to learn about a murder. A what? A murder? I kill no one. Then go straight there. If you don't, it'll be evidence that you're the guilty party. Get up. Get up there. Get up. The Lone Ranger raced on to Potter's and forced the half-breed to ride with him to Dolly Martin's. Meanwhile, at the home of the girl, the sheriff demanded an explanation. Hey, just what is this I hear about Hermit Doolittle, Dolly? Well, I, I don't know how much you've heard, Sheriff, but he, he was murdered. The man who did it rode a big gray horse. You uh, got any more proof of that than the word of that mask, hombre? Yes, I saw the poor old man. And when was it? Hey, what's this? You stay there. Oh, you loco savage, put down that knife. Dolly, who in thunder me is take it? Gun. Give me that shooting iron. You stay there. <laughs> Why, thunderation, I'll show you. Better not argue with Tonto, Sheriff Harkness. You're pushing me into this here chair like I was a... Quiet. I'll go, Tonto. Who's that? Howdy, Miss Dolly. Jeb, come in. What are you doing here? Why, Sheriff, ain't you looking for me to be here? Now, I never had no part in the murder, no hermit. I never done... Me take gun. What's this? What's this? sit there. Hey! This is going too doggone far. Here he comes. Uh, now we see. Oh, that's a critter that sent me and said to check. Get in there, Breed. I've taken his gun, Tonto. Uh, what is this? Stay right there, Breed. We're going to find a murderer tonight. I don't know what you... You'll find out all you need to know very soon. Hey, look here, stranger. You can't take the law into your own hands like this. Well, if your own hands prove competent, Sheriff, I'll turn things over to you. For all I know, you might be the murderer. If you're not, you'll be able to jail one of these two men here. One of you three killed Lige Doolittle. I never know I'm a born You'll be hey. quiet life finish. You, Breed, might have borrowed a horse. You're about the size of the killer. You, Jim, oh, look here, mister, you have I'm the gonna... sort of horse the killer used. Perhaps you loaned that horse to someone. And you, Sheriff, are the right kind of horse, and you're the size of the killer. That's why you three were brought here. Hey, tell me, stranger, is that all the evidence you get? No, it ain't. Here in my hand, I have a clue. Something that was found at the scene of the murder, clutched in the dead man's hand. Huh? I... You careful. I've got it. Clumsy of me. Hey, what was that you dropped? I didn't intend any of you to see that clue. However, it doesn't matter a great deal. Reed, you go into the bedroom. Wait there. For what? Go on. I want to talk to the sheriff and Jeb Lawson without you here. You think I kill? Into the next room. I'll call you when you want it. You go. Ah, this make me sick. All the time, question. Sheriff, I want you to search Jeb Lawson. What? About time you called on the law to help you. What am I searching for? A map that was supposed to have been stolen from Lyde. I ain't got no map. You think like he'd have it on him anyhow. We don't find nothing of the sort. Well, you go into the next room, Jeb. We'll bring the breed out. Come on, breed. Now what you want. The sheriff is going to search you for a stolen map. Be thorough, Sheriff. I am. I don't see where it does any good. He's had plenty of time to hide it. Nope. Don't find nothing on him. Well, I still have the clue that I found in Lige's hand. Perhaps we won't need the map for evidence. Dolly, I... Jack, wait. Huh? What's this? We're going to try and find the murderer, Jack. In just a minute. Come here, Jeb. Well, you're done with making me hide in the bedroom. Did you find the map? Not yet. Sheriff, I... Well... I'll turn the killer over to you. You've been saying that right along, but Jim, I... Jim, huh? I explained that I had a clue in my hand. It's a vest button. See it? 
All of you saw it when I dropped it on the floor, didn't you? All three of you men are quick-sighted. You wouldn't have missed it. You were given to understand that the button was torn from the killer's vest. For sure. Look at your vest, Breed. Yeah? Sacre. I lose the button. So you're the murderer. It's not to... true. I don't kill him. You want to escape? Let me at him. Here's his frame off. Get for the jail. Wait, wait, nothing. I'm taking this cookie. Look in. at your own vest, Sheriff. Hmm? You've lost a button, too. It's true. You're the one who killed. You do it. That's a lie. You aren't guilty, Sheriff. Neither is the breed. If you try to claim that I'm guilty, you I'm going to... You aren't the best button, are you, Jeff? Say for yourself. And I'll tell you why. Because while you were in the next room, you found a button and sewed it on. That ain't so. And how did the button get back on? Tyler cut a button from the vest of each one of you while he took your gun. What can't you say? The two of you who were not guilty had no reason to look at your vest. The killer was worried. He saw that the missing button might trap him. So he replaced it while he was alone in the next room. It's a frame up. You're the murderer. No, no, I'm you not. You've worn shoes a lot larger than your own size. You thought that would lead to someone else, didn't you? All right, you think it's a slick? Well, I won't be took alive. Give me my gun. Stop him. Stop him. Oh. Good work. There's your man, Sheriff. Hey, you mean I'm to take charge of him now? Are you satisfied with the evidence against him? Uh, plenty. I reckon we'll have Dolly and Jack for witnesses again him. You sure enough will. Well, that is if Jack will stay here till the trial. Instead of heading back for that creek of his. I reckon I'll be here for some time now, Chef. You see, old Lige wanted Dolly and me to get married. Yeah? And he left us the gold mine that he knowed about. It was the map of that claim that the killer was after. That's the one thing I was wondering about. The motive for the murder. Well, I reckon now we got the motive, we got the proof, and we got the killer all at one time. Jack's got Dolly, Dolly's got Jack, and you both got a gold mine. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.